in this tutorial let me teach you guys how to answer physics practical without wasting any time in the lab at all now the question says you are provided with a groove inclined plane a solid sphere a stock watch another necessary material those are your material so they said place a towel they will give you place a towel of paper to where at the end tail of the inclined plane to stop the sphere from rolling release the sphere from a point of distance d equals to 140 so one of the um parameters you have is d so those are things that will be in your table if you notice so they said you have d and your d is in centimeter please always make sure to put your si unit so your d is in centimeters and they say your d is 140 so you're starting from 140 this is a table and they said from the tail end of the inclined plane determine the average time t taken for the sphere to cover this distance so you take the first time because you're, you're looking for average time so you have you need like two times c2 also in seconds then you're able to find your average your t average and that's also in seconds now According to the question in the practical, this is said evaluate W equals to D over T. So, also they said um, calculate V equals to 2W. All these are your questions. Please make sure you read your questions in your practical so that you're able to know what you are doing. Don't just kick out like that without reading the instructions. So, you are doing 140 and subsequently you have to do it more than once. So 140, 120, you reduce them, reduce the length, 100, 80, 60. Please make sure you are working with time. You have to be fast doing your first practical because it's not only one practical you are doing in the short period of time given. All right. So now if you look at this table after you have done your practicals, you can see that you have a distance, you have your T, you have your T2, you have your T average. The W equals to D, D over T, then V equals to 2W. Now, let me tell you guys something. You might ask, how do I know what I should put on my table? They will give you your question. They will give it to you in your question. They will tell you, evaluate this or calculate this. Those are the stuff that will be on your table. Now, they ask us to look for T average. Your T average is your T1 plus T2 over 2. So when you do it, 4.5 plus 4.5 equals to 9 divided by 2 equals to 4.5. You see that there now. What is your W? Your W is D over T. What is your first D? 140 divided by your T. That T is your T average, please. 4.5. That will give you 31.111. 120 divided by your T average is 4.0. 30.00. So you can see now that is what the formula they gave you that you will use to get the values here. Now your V equals to 2W. Now this W is what they asked us to use. 2 times 31.111 62.222 you can see that now so it's the formula they give you you will use to find what you have here after you are done with your table the next thing you have to jump to is your graph how do we plot our graph now let me clean this up with our graph in place how do we plot our graph physics graph because that's also a point of concern for physics students now your physics exam in the practical question they will give you what to plot against what now according to the question i have here they ask us to plot a graph with v on the vertical axis and they ask us to use what now t which is absolutely t average on the horizontal axis so what is the vertical this is the vertical v then your t also your t that's in seconds now when you are when you have drawn your um coordinates you begin to plot now you have your v to be here what's the highest value for v 62.222 now if you look at the numbers there you can see that they are in between the progression of 10 20 30 40 50 so you can just number it that way 10 20 30 40 50 60 you see it now now your um t average that's in the it is if you check it is in the progression of one 
1.5 to 2.5 3 3.5 so 1.0 no let's start with 0 0.5 1.0 1.5 2 2.0 2.5 3 3.5 you write it up to the biggest number 4.5 now that you have your Cartesian in place it's time to plot so you are plotting your V against T so if your V is 62.2 V your V is 62.2 then your T at that point is 4.5 so this is 4.5 let's have this away this is 4.5 62.2 will be somewhere around here it will be above 60 please just uh, mark it trace it you can just count two boxes, one, two, that's 62, and draw it direct like that. Your, when your V is 60, your T is 4.0. So, this is 60, 4.0 will be somewhere here. I'm using a free hand, please use your ruler when you're doing your practical. So, you see that it's getting slowed down, 53.3 for 3.0 somewhere around here so by the time you this is 48.0 it's eight boxes over 40 then your t is 2.5 this is 2.5 somewhere around here so now you have your you have your your points in place what do you do you join them join your point with the line that connects most of it together you get so i have something like this something like this you can see it now it's not by force it connects everything together as long as it touch most of your points so after you've drawn your graph the next thing to do is to find the slope so the slope now is the highest point minus the lowest point so this is the highest point of your graph this is the lowest point of your graph of the um of the slope the line you drew that connected your points together so what do you do to find the value connect them downwards connect them downwards with your ruler connect them downwards with your ruler make sure they are straight then connect them sideways also connect them also so when you connect them this way what do you do you look for your slope so your slope now your y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so what's your y2 62 minus what's your y1 let's make this let's say this is 43 over this is your between 4.0 and 4.5 so let's say this is 4 points 4.3 please this is just a rough tutorial when you are using your graph please make sure that your lines are straight so 4.3 then this is also two point let's make it two point seven so by the time you punch your calculator what you have is what sixty two minus forty three you have nineteen nineteen over four point three minus two point seven one point six that will give you uh, eleven point eight seven five then you are done with that you are done with the practical basically so what is left now is to answer the questions that are under it if it is being asked they can ask you some um subsidiary questions now after you've done your um, practical this way you've gotten your slope the next thing is to what prepare your your report now let me teach you how to prepare good physics reports so when you want to prepare your physics report at the very beginning of your practical, the first thing you write is your title. What is the title of your practical? Then the next thing you need to write is your aim. So for instance, the title of our practical is um let's let me call it sphere um inclined plane practical. For instance, then what is the aim? Let's assume the aim is to find the aim is to find uh, the significance 
of acceleration then you need to find your apparatus also it's just a rough tutorial your apparatus is also important your method is always in your your method is always in your question just copy the procedure they give in your question after your method you go straight to your graph after your graph you write the slope your slope will be under or maybe you can write your slope under here also but um you can write the slope after your method then after that go for your precaution you write your precaution then you answer the questions that they asked you they do have some um, subsidiary questions like for instance in this place now the question i have here is that um write the equation of um velocity ratio of an inclined plane giving the meaning of the symbols what's the velocity ratio of an inclined plane the velocity ratio of an inclined plane is one over sine theta so that is that for that then they also ask that an object of mass 5 kg uh is inclined at an angle of 30 30 degree so, according to the question they gave me they said that a block is resting on a inclined plane the block the mass of the block is 5 kg resting on an inclined plane inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal then i said calculate the force perpendicular to the plane when the object is at rest it's very easy once i drew my um diagram i drew a force that is acting in perpendicular direction to the plane that is at 90 degree then i drew the weight acting downwards so if this is the weight acting downwards and this is the force if i connect them together a triangle is formed so if i draw at this my triangle now the way it looks like this is my angle 90 this is the this is the normal angle so if i have this place to be w and i'm looking for this place and i have the angle to be 30 this place is the adjacent this place is the hypotenuse and from my so tour i know that i have a car which is okay this is so car tour car is cos because it has the adjacent and the hypotenuse so cos 30 because the adjacent is what what i'm looking for let me call it x over hypotenuse is w my w is mg because they've given me my m and my g is 10 acceleration due to gravity that is 50. so x now is 50 cos 30. you can see it now that's what is here 50 cos 30. f equals 50 cos 30. then when you do your solving you have 43.3 newton and that is that for that practical i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you had if it if it gave you information and you found value in the video do well to subscribe and hit the notification bell to um receive more of our videos then let me hear your questions in the comment section which part of the tutorial did you understand which part of the tutorial helped you let me know in the comment section so that i'll be able to converse with you guys and help you out in your um upcoming exam stay cool